Hey guys, Adam General Fishing here. Been a while since I did a video. I don't even know if I did one last year, but I'm gonna start to do a couple more. Uh, get some some videos out there on YouTube for you. What I did today was a little project here, um, waiting for the the weather to break up here in Pennsylvania. It's still been we had a pretty cold winter, but I actually put my trolling motor batteries on um, an on and off switch, uh, like a main power on and off switch. Uh, it's just I just picked the switch up at a local. Uh, marine dealer or you can order them on Amazon Perco makes them a bunch of different companies make them they're they're easy to hook up uh, you will need um, some six gauge wire and a couple of the battery uh, terminal ends to crimp on there uh, but it's a it's a simple job you can do it took me about an hour to get everything rigged up uh, I actually had to make a little um, had to make a little plate to set the uh, to set the switch on but I had some issues last year where I think I got a surge from the hotel and it uh, hit the uh, Minn Kota Altrex and it, it blew the actual, like the, the head out, the, the circuit out of it. So I had to, uh, fortunately it was under warning, but I had to get a new head put in. And um, I think it came from a surge. I'm not 100% sure, but, you know, we stay at a lot of hotels traveling uh, throughout the year. And all the places that we stay at, their, their electrical uh, hookups are not the best. Uh, some of them have GFCI, some don't. Uh, you don't really get a good charge sometimes through the night, so you're you're constantly checking your batteries uh, to making sure you're on a good charge. Somebody might unplug your cord, uh, but it's just a good idea, a good safety measure to have. I'm running three uh, Interstate SRM27 lead cell crank or lead cell trolling motor deep cell batteries. Um, I haven't made the switch over to lithiums yet. The um, it's just a little too expensive for me to to make that jump. Uh, these batteries are like $120. Uh, they, I usually get three years out of a lead cell battery. I fish a lot. I, I charge them a lot during the summer. And every trip, when I get back, first thing I do is pull the boat in the garage, put the batteries on charge. Also, check the uh, levels in there periodically throughout the year. You can add distilled water to the uh, to the cells. You just got to wear goggles and some gloves. Make sure you don't get anything splashed in your eye. That's another good tip to do. But um, battery maintenance during the winter time, always put them on uh, a trickle charge. This boat has the uh, M, the Minn Kota, the Precision Charger. I think it's the uh, MK460 PC. So that goes into like a trickle charge mode once the batteries are charged up. I leave it in there all winter long. Don't have any trouble with them. It doesn't overheat. Um, it's a really good thing to do to save your batteries. Now, if, if you don't have a garage that's finished or you're at, your batteries are outside and you can't charge them, it is a good thing to bring them in. I used to put mine on uh, like a block of uh, pressure treated wood down in the basement, periodically hook a trickle charge up to them. Uh, that'll extend the life of them too. Just want to show you the setup back here. So I have one Interstate uh, 31 series uh, cranking battery. I have a switch hooked up there too. That, that, that switch runs the uh, power to the boat, your AC power, all your electronics, everything there. And then this second switch here, if you can see it's a little tight in here. That's the one that's going to run the, uh, the trolling motor battery. So I'm going to make a couple more videos here. And I uh, hope you guys can get out fishing here as soon as weather breaks. Uh, see you soon.